tonight, a new twist in the Spygate story that may soon go down in the history books as the biggest political scandal in American history. How do you like that? Vladimir Putin may have guessed how deep our deep state was. I mean, Edward Snowden, after all, is his buddy, right? Hiding out there in Russia. And Vladimir Putin would have wanted to expose that, the deep state, for his own political gain. So let's jump back to what we already know, okay? We know that Hillary Clinton's campaign paid its D.C. law firm, Perkins Coy, to funnel money to Fusion GPS, the so-called investigative firm, to dig up dirt in Russia on now President Donald Trump. We also know that Fusion GPS hired a former British spy named Christopher Steele. He had a specialty in Russia, and they paid him $168,000 to pen this now infamous dossier that our FBI later used as a reason to investigate the Trump campaign and spy on innocent Americans. Christopher Steele, the British spy, called up a whole bunch of his former intel friends over there in Russia to see what he could dig up, what he could find out, including some longtime former KGB folks and you know, others that were quite close to Vladimir Putin. Talk about an open invitation to Russia. I mean, Putin, the political animal that he is, he was just handed one big, magnificent opportunity. Think about it. By the Clintons, by the way. If he really wanted to create division in the United States of America, this was certainly a good way to do it. And given the partisanship that already was running rampant in the U.S., Putin managed to achieve something that may have been beyond even his wildest ambitions. And there was the mainstream media out there helping him every step of the way. Vladimir Putin was able to directly funnel whatever garbage he thought Hillary Clinton and U.S. intelligence agencies might want to hear about Donald Trump. He was able to funnel it straight to them, all while simultaneously making sure that Americans, no matter how this election turned out, would eventually discover Donald Trump was set up by the so-called deep state. Fusion GPS and the Clinton campaign, they opened our democracy right up to the direct disturbance from the Russians. It's like we were waving a big flag and saying, hey, come on. Hey, Russians, come and get us. Thanks, guys. I mean, what better way, think about it, if you're Putin to injure your opponent than by using the age-old method of divide and conquer, straight from the ancient Chinese military strategist Sun Tzu's book, The Art of War. Chapter 1, Section 23, here we go, on how to wound your enemy. He writes, quote, if his forces are united, separate them. And that's exactly what Putin and Russia have done. We are separated right now as a country. I mean, they're not entirely to blame. I would add that we're part of that. We've allowed that. The Democrats and the Republicans uh, have become so divided and so political and the mainstream media has enabled them to do all that, that sure, we are divided right now. Lucky for Putin. I mean, sources are telling me that the Russians have told the Maduro regime in Venezuela, hey, don't worry about the U.S. The U.S. can't do anything. The U.S. is so caught up in its Mueller mess. And they're partly right. We are divided. Although, hats off to the administration because they've taken on some major policy reforms despite all that chaos. If you ask me, Vladimir Putin wants us to know how deep our deep state is. The breadcrumbs, they're all there. And just in case you missed any, he highlighted them when speaking in Helsinki after being asked about the dossier. Remember this? I believe that Russia is a democratic state. And I hope you're not denying this right to your own country. You're not denying that United States is a democracy. Do you believe the United States is a democracy? And if so, if it is a democratic state, then the final conclusion in this kind of a dispute can only be delivered by a trial, by the court, not by the executive, by the uh, law enforcement. Okay, can you take a hint? I mean, Putin is basically challenging on us on what we consider a democracy. 
and he's advocating for a full discovery of what may have led to the dossier because, well, he knows that this will further divide us, and by further dividing us, he helps Russia on the international stage. But I would only say, maybe when this is all said and done, the good news is it does get exposed. It has to be exposed. We deserve answers, and I'm afraid that those answers are not going to be very good, and they're going to be very disheartening, and they're going to be very difficult, and we're all going to be very, very upset because we put our trust in the system. We had faith that the FBI and the people working in the FBI would be doing the right thing. But then when you learn that there are FBI folks out there that will go to a judge and get a warrant to spy on an innocent American with a bunch of flimsy opposition research that was never checked, never checked, easy things to check, like Michael Cohen, you know, did he go to Prague, did he not go to Prague? Why don't you check? The immigration system, right? His passport, why not take a look? Why use opposition research to get a warrant to spy on an American?